for this example, I'm going to assign the line command to this key over here. All right. So let's do that first, and then we'll keep moving with the macro, a more advanced macro command. So let me go back to my screen again. All right. So at this point, one of the first things that we need to do in order for this to work is to go online and uh, we're going to need a software or a program to install in our computer. In this case, since I'm using a Logitech mouse, I'm going to find this program, Logitech um, Options software. So that's the software that we're going to need to make this um, mouse keys work. So once we do that, uh, we're going to head over the first um, website, which is download Logitech options. So I'm going to click that. Let me let me expand this so you can see better. All right. So over here, all we're going to do is if you're using, of course, Windows 10, you can click this link over here for Mac is this. But in my particular case, I'm using Windows 11. So if you're using also Windows 11, what you need to do is go over here on this link for another version and click that. So once you do that, you have the option for Windows 11. So at this point, you know, you can read over some of these options if you want, if you need. But I already did it. Uh, I already know it works. I already even downloaded already. So it's just for me to show you how I downloaded this program. So at this point, you can click download now over here. That, right. So I'm going to click download. And you can see it's downloading over here at the bottom on my computer. So of course, once it's downloaded, you can simply click to open it and install it from there. It's very simple and straightforward. So like I was saying, I already have it on my computer. So I'm going to go and show it to you. All right. So let me open it. Um, Logitech options. All right. So I just opened the program, the software, Logitech options that I just show you how I downloaded it. And basically when you open it for the first time, you'll see this over here. And one of the important parts here in order to work, to make this work is um, that you need to connect your mouse uh, you're seeing it right here, uh, using Bluetooth to your computer or laptop or whatever um, machine you're using or Mac. So basically make sure at this point that you connect your mouse with your computer uh, using Bluetooth. So the way I did it is, let me go back to a bigger screen so you can see better. So you need to set your mouse on pair mode so you do it by clicking this um, small, tiny button over here. So you click that button, hold it for five to 10 seconds, and it will start blinking. So once you do that, then let me go back to my screen. So once you do that, you can go over here on your Bluetooth options. Um, oops on your Bluetooth options. Let me show it to you so you can see better. So it's right here. So on your settings, of course, go to Bluetooth. And then over here, you will add a device by clicking this and then Bluetooth. And then you will find your MX Logitech mouse. You simply click on it and you will be connected to Bluetooth, okay? So that's basically the steps, very straightforward. Um, so it's nothing complex to connect your mouse to your computer using Bluetooth. As you can see over here, it's successfully connected, MX Vertical connected. So make sure that is set correctly because otherwise 
um, customizing buttons in your mouse won't be uh, correct. Okay, so once we have that already, we downloaded the Logitech program to your computer. We made sure your mouse is connected using Bluetooth to your computer. Those two things are very important. Let's proceed to show you how I customized my mouse buttons. So over here, um, like I was explaining, I'm gonna customize this button of my mouse because right now it's simply a um, slider for the sensitivity of my mouse, which I never change it at all. So I don't use it, it's a waste of time. It's not an important function. I wanted to assign the line command uh, for AutoCAD. So I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna click on this button over here. And then what you will see is uh, all of these options. As you can see it right now, the function for this button is to change the speed of my pointer, which I don't care, I don't use it at all. So, but there is a nice option over here that says more. So we're gonna click on that, more. So once we do that, we can scroll down using our middle mouse wheel and then there will be a fun, uh, an option over here to use a keystroke assignment. So we're gonna click on that and boom, you can see there is an option to assign a keyboard shortcut over here. At this point, we're gonna stop here because we need to move into AutoCAD, right? Before even assigning anything here. So let's stop for a second over here and let's move this to the side so we can proceed with the tutorial. So at this point, what we need to do in AutoCAD is something very important. We're gonna open the customizable interface in AutoCAD. And the way we do it is using the CUI option, right? So once we do that and press enter, we will have this uh, window as again, you can see customize user interface over here at the top. And then at this point, let's scroll down and open or expand the keyboard shortcuts option, which is over here. So if we click on the mouse icon, you will expand it. And then here we need to expand again, this other option called shortcut keys. So if we expand it with the plus icon again, click, you'll have all of these different keyboard shortcuts that AutoCAD already customized. Um, for instance, let's inspect this really quick to better understand how these things are working in AutoCAD before we even create our um, shortcut, right, to our mouse. So let me pick one of these. I'm gonna pick the... Um, uh, what is it? I'm gonna pick the save. Okay, I'm gonna pick this save option. So if we go over here on the side and inspect this really quick, you can see that this command is the save command, of course, in AutoCAD. And it's using the QSAVE command, right? We know if we use AutoCAD, uh, we know the QSAVE command activates uh, saving a current drawing. And they are using this short macro over here. And the keys assigned are the control S, right? That's what we use, control S, and it will activate the QSAFE command. All right, so now that we have a better idea how these keyboard shortcuts work, let's go back over here. And I already created uh, this line command before just to test it, but I'm gonna erase it just for you to show you again how I did it. I'm also gonna erase this because um, I, I wanted to show you again for a scratch. So now let's see how we're gonna add a command, right? We said we're gonna add the line command to our mouse keyboard, which is this one over here. Um, so before that, uh, let's go back to the chat because we have a 
more people connected. We have five people right now, which is great. I'm happy because of that. I'm here for you guys. So let me quickly share what people are saying in the comments. So we have, um, I cannot understand the name because it's not English or it's not my language. Uh, so, but he's saying, you are amazing teacher. Thank you very much for that, um, for your comment. That actually um, makes me feel that I'm doing something good here, showing uh, each weekend here to share a little bit of my knowledge. So that gives me that extra motivation that I need, right? So thank you. So let's keep moving with uh, this tutorial. All right. So how we are going to add the line command is first finding the line command on these um, command options over here. So let's type L-I-N-N for the line. So once we do that, let's scroll down with our middle mouse wheel. And the first line command is this over here. But if we go to the site and inspect it, you can see that it, it, it's actually not the, the regular line command because look, it says, uh, I, R, U, V line. I don't even know what is that. So that's not the line command. So make sure you select the correct line command. So let's keep looking. So if we go to the next one, which is this one over here, uh, you can see it says line and CC line. So yeah, this is the correct line command. So make sure you have that because again, there are more line commands over here that they are not the right one. So again, make sure it says line only. So once we found it, uh, let's select on it. And using the left, um, the left side of our mouse, let's click and hold it. And let's drag it all the way up and place it anywhere on these uh, keyboard shortcuts over here. So I'll place it right here. And that's the line command right now. So before again, there was no line um, command on these shortcut keys, uh, but we dragged it from the command list to over here. So once we have the line command, let's click on it. And if we go down over here on these options properties, we can see that there is a keys option that is empty. Here is where we're gonna assign our keyboard shortcut. So let's uh, click these three dots over here, click. And at this point, there are many um, keys already assigned to different commands, right? You can see here, there are control uh, L and so on. So look what happened if I do control L or line, right? Because that's easy to remember. So it says current assigned to toggle ortho. So that means AutoCAD already assigned these control L keys to the ortho mode. So we cannot use it. So what we're gonna do here is, let's keep looking, right? Let's try control, shift, and L. So again, on our keyboard, control, shift, L. And again, we see another message that says currently assigned to select previous. So again, <laughs> this key uh, shortcut, it's already used. So what I like to do here is use the control shift alt and then L. So once we do that, control shift alt and L, so that's an, an assigned key over here. You can read it currently unassigned. So that's what we need. And again, don't worry about if this is such a long keyboard, uh, key shortcut, because again, we're gonna activate it with one single click of our mouse. So that's not a problem. The problem would be if you start messing around with assigning the same keys that are already used on the program. That's where the problem comes because you're gonna have weird behavior. So you don't want to do that. So make sure you use this long key, which is Control, Shift, Alt, 
and then the L. So once we do that, let's click OK. And at this point, let's simply click Apply and then OK. So we're almost there. We're almost there here assigning a key shortcut to your mouse. So what we need to do now is go back again to the uh, Logitech program, the options. This is called Logitech options program. So over here, we're going to add the same keyboard shortcut that we just assigned to our line, which was, guys, Control, Shift, Alt, and L, right? So that's the same. Let me make sure that's equal to whatever you assigned previous to the line command. And at this point, uh, you can simply get out of here because there is no an option to save uh, to save these changes. But again, make sure that it's already the Control Alt Shift L. So let's simply click somewhere over here and let's test it, right? So let's move this over here to the side. So at this point, I'm simply clicking <laughs> this button over here on my mouse, again, the center one. And you can see that the line command is activated already. Do you see it? It says line. So at this point, I can simply start drawing my, my, my lines like so. Again, I'm gonna click again my middle mouse and you can see I can simply start drawing lines again. Um, just to verify, uh, make it test it even harder. I'm gonna use the move command, right? The regular move command, M, to move this line. So I'm gonna move it over here. And at this point, you know that if I press the space bar or enter again, it will also activate the last command, which is move, right? So that's correct. But again, if I press my middle mouse wheel, it's not my middle mouse wheel. Um, this button, the one that we assign it, uh, is jumping to the line command no matter what. So that's great, right? So that's uh, that's great. Now, what we need to do is, I wanted to share also a more advanced way to assign these shortcuts uh, to your mouse. These, um, and the way is I wanted to assign an advanced macro command, right? Um, so I'm gonna do it in a moment, but first uh, what I want to do is read some of your comments because there is a comment. So let me go back to the chat. Uh, it says, Civil tech source, lazy architecto. What the that would you? Hey, hi there. Thank you for being here, Civil. Um, it's a friend that also have a uh, AutoCAD channel, I believe. Um, but I think it's for uh, civil designers. So that's great that you are here. Uh, thank you, and let's keep moving. All right. So now that. Uh, we assigned a regular command. Uh, we did it with line. But again, you can assign the command that you use the most. That's a question that you need to answer because, you know, everybody works differently in AutoCAD. So that's understandable. Um, we have one more comment on the chat. Uh, it says, for the win, <laughs> civil tech. Uh, we have another person, Saldi A. Velasco, he say hi. Hi, Saldi, thank you for being here. I think you're new to the channel. So if your time is important, consider subscribing because here is all about stopping you from wasting time in AutoCAD, all right? So let's keep moving again. Um, I'm gonna share my screen. So again, the line command, we're assigning it to our um, mouse key, this one over here. So let's now go into a more advanced way to assign a key uh, function to your mouse, which is using an advanced macro command, all right? So let's uh, do it. And for this command or macro, sorry, so we're gonna use um, this one over here, the lazy close 
a macro command. So basically this is a custom command that we created here in the channel, probably like a month ago, I believe, or more. Um, but basically it's a way to quickly uh, close your drawing, drawing, but before perform all of these previous uh, commands, which are zoom extend into this drawing, um, clean your drawing with purge, go to paper space, perform another zoom extend, and then save and finally close your drawing. So this is a nice way to keep uh, things organized um, and drawings, especially if you work on a team project, right? Because if you work on a team, usually people use your drawings, open your drawing, and you don't want uh, them to, you know, have the wrong idea about you. So let's, that's enough for this explanation about the lazy close command. Again, if you wanna learn about it, how we create it, it's on our past live streams. So I'll, I'll link the vi video description, uh, the video link on the description, but let's keep moving. So we're gonna use that macro command. So let's go back now uh, to our Logitech uh, options program, that's the name. And what we're gonna do here is, um, again, assign this time another function to this bottom over here, but a more advanced um, function, right? So the way we're gonna do it is, we're gonna scroll down and find the gesture button, this option. So if you select the gesture button, you can see that we can, allow, we can assign um, not only one function to this button, but five options. Isn't that great, right? So basically we can assign five different functions and the way we do it is using gestures, which is holding, uh, let, me, let me go back to, to a bigger screen so you can see better. Basically the idea of gestures is that you click and hold the bottom and you move either to the, to the left, right, up, or down holding the key and it will perform different uh, functions, right? <laughs> so that's great. So we're gonna assign uh, for this specific example to the lazy close. Usually uh, you close your drawings, you know, when you wanna leave uh, or, or when you are done, you finished your work. So the way I'm gonna do it is assign a gesture. So holding this key and move it to the right. So if I click and hold, move to the right, it will automatically perform my lazy close macro custom command, right? So that's the idea and let's see, let me show you how I did it. So again, let's go back to my screen. So at this point, uh, what we want to do is uh, go on under the custom options. So let's click that. And then let's go on this option that says customize. So let's click on that again, customize. And as you can see, I'm gonna use the right arrow over here that says unassigned. So I'm gonna click because again, I want to hold my mouse, move it to the right and automatically perform the lazy close macro command. So once I have that selected, let's go and scroll down to again, the key stroke assignment. And then here is where we can assign our key stroke. Now let's move back to AutoCAD uh, to finalize this, right? So let's go here in AutoCAD again, and we need to access another time the CUI, uh, the customizable interface. You already know how to do it, you see why and enter. So let's go down and find again, our key keyboard shortcuts and our shortcut keys. The same way we did it before, right? Nothing different at this point. So at this point, uh, let's find over here, 
the lazy close custom macro command. Again, we, in this channel, we created so many of these custom macro commands uh, that are, are very useful on saving time. You can assign uh, the macro that you use the most, right? In my case, is the lazy close. I always use it to close any of my drawings, so that's why I want to use it. But it depends on you, right? So let's go here and let's look for the lazy close command. So it's right here, lazy close. So once we have it selected, uh, again, that's the uh, macro code that we're using to make all of these tasks happen. Uh, so we're going to left click on it and again, drag it all the way up anywhere on this section, right? So once I released it, I can click on it again and then moving here to the right, I can assign my key shortcut over here. So uh, before I assign my key shortcut um, for this lazy close advanced macro command, let's go back to the chat because we have um, another person that just joined and it is Gabriel Ramirez. Hey. <laughs> Gabriel Ramirez is giving us a super chat, I believe. That's great. Thank you very much, Gabriel, uh, for being here first with us today. Um, and for the donation, right? That's a way that you are supporting my work. And I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, and he said, thanks for the tips. Yeah, always. Uh, I'm here each weekend again, either Saturday or Sunday, depends, you know, um, but um, I'm here for you guys to share a little bit of my knowledge so we all can uh, stop wasting time in AutoCAD, right? So thank you, Gabriel Ramirez. So let's keep moving. So the way now, again, we're gonna assign, assign a key over here and let's for that open with clicking these three dots over here. And this is the lazy close, so I'm gonna assign the C uh, letter for this key. So again, I'm gonna use Control, Shift, Alt, and C. All right, so that's what I'm gonna assign. Control, Shift, Alt, and C for close. So again, don't worry about if this is a long key because it's gonna be performed only with one key on our mouse. So we're not, we're not gonna have to remember this at all. It's just important to have it long like this so you don't um, create conflicts or problems with the existing uh, shortcuts already inside AutoCAD, right? So remember this, um, I'm gonna click okay at this point apply and simply click okay all right so we're almost there um so let's go back to the logitech options program that we downloaded it before so at this point uh, let's go over here and assign the same keyboard shortcut control shift alt and we say c that's it at this point, again, there is no safe option uh, bottom somewhere, so we don't need to do anything. We can simply uh, hit close over here if we want. So close, and then let's go back to AutoCAD. So here in AutoCAD, again, to test our uh, lazy close command, then again, this custom macro command, what it does is zoom extend in model space, uh, clean your drawing, jumped to paper space, zoom extend again, save your drawing and close your drawing. All of these steps with one single click, but we assigned it to the mouse, right? Holding it, the a key and moving it to the right is gonna already activate that command. So let's, let's test it, right? So again, uh, let's go to paper space. Let's move things around to test if it works. Um, all right, so I'm gonna, uh, you're not seeing, but I'm gonna do it over here on my desk. So click, move to the right. 
That's it. It's doing its thing. And boom, our drawing was closed. Let's do it again with this drawing another time. So let's say I'm working on this. Sometimes people zoom in, in their drawing and they, they simply close their drawing at this point and the other person that opens the drawing see something like this and was like, what, what? So let's go and move things around. Um, so again, I'm gonna perform the command, holding it, move it to the right. That's it, simple and quick. So now let's open back up the drawings to see what happened, right? So that's the drawing that we did. Um, again, it's 10 40 a.m. So that's the, the drawing that we just, again, it shows up first paper space, nice and zoom, extend. If we go to model, again, it's nice and zoom. So again, all with assigning the lazy close command to this key on our mouse. Isn't that great? So here is another lazy command or macro.